friends. My name is Natalie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So, yeah, this is my hair. <laughs> so, um, I thought I had an appointment with a massage therapist, um, but I got the day wrong. So I had washed my hair. I completely washed my hair with Trader Joe's uh, Tingle Tree tea tree shampoo and i used a leave-in conditioner um and then that was it i didn't bother adding anything else to it and this is what my hair looks like um yeah so it apparently it can get big so if i pull my hair back this is what it's like. So, just to give you an idea. But what we're going to do is we're going to measure what the how thick it is with the tape measurement. And then after that, we're going to measure um, what the, um, how long did that part grew after one week of doing Ayurvedic and doing MSM um, treatment. So let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to take the tape measurement and I'm going to measure around the tape measurement. So I want to make sure I get all the hair out of the way. And I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I'll be right back. Okay, so my hair measure, the ponytail measures at three and a half inches in circumference. So I went to a website called Naturally Curly, and they had three different ways to check to see what your density is. Um, the first one is count them. No one has time to count every little strand of their hair. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why would anyone? I mean, so the best way to do this is to count the number of hairs in one square inch of your scalp. I don't think so. The second option is, can you see your scalp? So meaning that... um you start with dry hair, not wet hair, and do not part it, let it hang loose. Take a look in the mirror. Can you see your scalp without moving your hair? If you can, you mostly have low density. If you can see your scalp with a little effort, then you mostly have medium density. If it's difficult or impossible to see your scalp, then you have high density. Um, without a part i don't know hmm. i guess this would be a good idea it's dry there's no can you see my scalp just a little bit okay i probably do have low density I guess I have low density. I mean, not low density, medium density. Then the next one is the measure your ponytail. And basically, um, you pull your hair back into a ponytail and you measure the circumference of the ponytail or puff. Low density hair will be less than two inches. Um, Medium density will measure between two to three inches and high density will be at least four inches. So with that being said, I have medium density. That is weird. So forever, 
I thought I had low density, but it turns out I have medium density. Okay. All right. So now, so now that tells me something right there. Because I have fine hair, I cannot, 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 cannot use any gels that are too heavy for my hair. So basically, I have to stick with gels that are more in a liquid consistency as well as foam and mousses. Those are going to be my best friend. And I can't use heavy leave-in conditioners because that will weigh my hair down. So now with that being said, now I'm realizing that there's a lot of products that I can't use anymore because it will weigh my hair down or I could take some of the products and apply water to it to kind of thin it out. I could do that. Um, I think that would work. Um, that's going to be an experiment for me to try. And now it's giving me this whole new perspective on what I'm going to do with my hair. So now knowing that I have medium density, it makes me feel good. <laughs> no shame to low density. No shame to low density. You know, it's just now I have to redo my whole entire wash treat, wash and go. So, okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, now, um, today is wash day, as you can see. Now, we're going to take this portion and we're going to measure. I'm going to remove my glasses. I'm going to pull my hair back. I don't know why I did that. Why did I take it out? I don't know. So, all right. So now I got my tape measurement and now we're going to measure this part of my hair. So now I got it here and now let's see. So you can see there's my hair and like redo it again. Okay, so I'm going to place it here, and now I'm going to hold, and I'm going to slide it down. And then this is where the very bottom of my hair is. So now... Four inches! Ah! Oh my god! Wow! Four inches! Oh my god, that is incredible! Okay, that's incredible. So last week I went from three inches to four inches, but someone, one of my friends told me that it looks like three and a half. Okay, so. It looks three and a half, then I'm at four, so I gain a half an inch, which is good, but I wanted to start as three inches just to be on the safe side, and uh, yeah, it's just to be on the safe side. I'd rather do it in, um, I'd rather do it that way, three inches, and then I gained four inches, so I, ah! but if you want to be technical, we'll do three and a half, and yeah, oh well, anyways, so 
All right, so today's wash day, I'm going to be using products from Eco Slay. So I'm going to be using the chai latte. I'm going to be using the buttercream. Okay, so I'm going to be using the following for my wash and go. I am going to be using the Eco Slay Chai Latte for cleansing. I'm going to be using the um, the rice pudding for the leave-in, and then I'm going to be using the Mayal Babasu Brazilian Curl uh, Curly Cocktail Curl Cream followed by the foam, which is the Babos, Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse together just to see what I'm going to be getting um, as far as curls and definition. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to try this new brush from Tangle Teaser. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. So I'm going to use that and we're going to see how this is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go and wash my hair and then I'm going to, um, uh, and then that's it. So I know I'm like, kind of like all over the place today. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I'll be back. So before I go ahead and put the, um, the Ayurvedic, um, deep conditioning that I met, that I made, I also added some more MSM and vitamin C. And on top of that, I added some aloe vera inner filet gel that I got from the vitamin store. But look what the eco style chai latte did to my hair. It's wow, look at this. Look at all that. I've never had any product, any shampoo that does that. And my hair feels so soft and fluffy. That's how I can say it. It really cleansed my hair very well. It did not strip my hair. And it left it so shiny, so soft and fluffy. And look at all this. That's crazy. Look at all this definition. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deep condition with the Ayurvedic. And then I'm going to follow up with the Mayel Overnight Moisture uh, Mask. So that way I can add the moisture back into my hair. And then I'm going to follow up with the rice pudding, Eco Slay rice pudding leave-in. And then I'm going to use the Mayel um, Brazilian Curl Creams. All right? So I'll see you back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So I'm going to go ahead and detangle my hair. And... I'm trying natural lighting instead of using the ring light and um, I have to catch the the natural lighting at a at a really perfect opportunity. If I wait later, I'm not going to get it. So, I'm going to go in with my Eco Slay rice pudding, which is a leave-in conditioner. And I love it. So I'm going to use this much. I believe I'm going to use that for the entire hair. And um, oh, it smells good. Okay. So it's cold because you have to keep it refrigerated. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the fronts of the hair that needs the most. That's my gray. As you can see. And I'm going to do the other side. Just like that. 
<laughs> gonna show you. I'm just gonna take it and twist the shortest parts of my hair. As you can see, it just has all the curl. And do the same thing for that one. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and rake it through the entire hair. As you can see, I still have more. Still have more. Do underneath. And making sure I concentrate on that part. Yeah, making sure I get those parts. Still, you don't even need to add more. It just keeps rejuvenating. All right, so now go ahead. Okay. So we got that in just like that. Just trying to make sure. All right, so I guess that'll be good. So now I'm gonna go in with the curl cream from Maya. And I'm not going to use too much because I don't know how this works. And about this much. It's like I said in a video, this smells like grapefruit, but I don't know if, if that's just the oil or not so might have to put a little bit more in there so I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do for this part I'm just waking it and then that's that. Let me bring you guys down a little bit. Okay. Yep, yeah, that worked. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit more. Just going to put this much. Rub it. And now, just going to go ahead and rank it in. Mama, I'm standing in front of their cat condo, so she's looking at me, wondering what the heck is she doing? All right, okay. Just making sure. I don't have anything sticking to my scalp. So now I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so I am back. So I'm going to take a section of my hair and I'm just going to put it up just like that. So now we're dealing with this part so <laughs> this is my first time so I hope this is gonna be good and just let it out and picking it up and go like that and oops 
Das Alright, now I'm going to do this part. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this is going to work. So I'm going to do this side of my hair. So let's see how this is going to work. What do you think I, I don't know anyways I'm gonna go off the camera and try to see how to work this but I'll be back all right so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give it a couple wood scores just to you know just to be successful okay so it didn't say not to shake it, but I'm going to shake it just in case. Oh, let me take this off. As you can see with the comb, it did do a good job. All right. I see you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take, okay. And how about this much? And then I'm going to rub it together. This has a this has a um different kind of smell. Doesn't smell like grapefruit like the other one. So what I'm doing is I'm just glazing it, and then after that I'm just scrunching it, make sure that the front also gets it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like that, making sure. Okay, just looks like you still have some more, but I'm just gonna put one more squirt, rub it together, and just glaze it over. Bottom. I want to make sure I set myself up for success. So, all right. Okay, so we'll see how this works and hope to God. <laughs> Uh okay. So some of it's just like have a mind of their own, so let's go ahead and pop you up back in there and you go back in. I'll be right back. All right, let's 
go ahead and take this and just kind of okay. See a little stragglies. Uh, I don't have my glasses, so if I'm squinting, that's just because I don't have my glasses. Mm -hmm. I think that worked. Mm, except for these. Okay. This one. All right, that worked. Yeah, let's see. Take those from go. Okay. And then I believe this is the last one. Okay. This is good enough. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, air dry for 30 minutes, and then I'll go in with a diffuser, and I'll be back to show you the results. Okay. So this is what we're looking at with the new denim brush. And as you can see, my curls are pretty defined. So I'm trying this new technique that Curls and Waves Kiss on YouTube. Um, she did something on Instagram where she took a silk um, scarf. And then what she did was she just scrunched out the curls without using any oil. For those that don't like using oil and just takes a while getting used to and then you just scrunch up the curls and yeah Okay, so let's assess the definition which I'm getting and I'm going to separate them and then this one, separate that one and yeah, and then give it a shake. My hair still smells like grapefruit. Nothing wrong with that. I absolutely love grapefruit. So I'm good with that. <laughs> All right. And let me part this one. Uh oh. Hold on, do we want to? There we go. Put this one. Yep. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Okay. And then you tell me what you think of the oh I do feel there's a little baby clump over here. So let's go ahead and separate that. And then 
Then we'll do another one here. Okay. I will say that not a bad little um, item. Um, I purchased it at Ulta and um, I believe it was like $10, I think. Let's receive what they see. It's a bug. <laughs> They're just going to have at it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know if you are able to see it, but they're mesmerized. Let me see if I can turn it around. Oh, no, that was the camera. <laughs> All right, well, I can't reverse it, so oh well. Uh, anyways, yeah, so um, I like the results that I got. Um, I would play with it a little bit more. Now, as far as the product is concerned, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of left my hair feeling down. Um, sorry. It kind of left my hair feeling like there's something on it. That's what I can say. It feels like there's something on it. Be right back. Let me read this and see if there's any silicone. Okay. Um, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Um, I don't like how it. I don't like the feeling. It just feels like it's dry. Like it's, I don't have enough moisture in my hair. That's what it feels like. It just feels dry and I don't care for that at all but I mean yeah the curls look amazing and everything but I just don't like that feeling that I get um I do like how the brush just gave me the definition and That's a good little brush, I will have to say. And, um, yeah, I don't like the feeling. I don't like it. So, um, well, maybe if I add a little oil to it, I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if maybe a little oil would do the trick. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of my oil. Okay, so let's see what happens if I give her some oil. Okay.
Now, it didn't make any difference. <laughs> no, it did not make one single difference whatsoever by using oil. It just feels my hair is dry. So, with that being said, this is going to be a redo over, but I am going to, um, yeah, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like this. Now, you know what? I'm starting to feel that the Mayel styling products are not doing what it used to do for my hair. So with that being said, hold on. So with that being said, I am not going to be repurchasing this anymore. Um, I have washed my hair and I only put just the leave-in conditioner and just let my hair dry and it was dry. My hair was literally dry. It wasn't that good. The next one, I'm not going to be repurchasing this or this. Um, these two, I'm not going to be purchasing anymore. Um, I don't like it and I'll probably end up giving it to my, oh, I'll give it to my daughter. Not this one. This one, well, I probably, there's still some, there's a good decent amount left. So I'll give these to my daughter. She'll just enjoy it a lot. So yeah, that's about it. So anyways, if you happen to like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. So you're always going to be notified whenever I post new videos. And thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. Bye.